All right, I'm back. I uh, told you guys I'd try to make another video. Excuse the quality and everything. Um, still trying to figure out how to get this set up. I still need to figure out how to make some mounts to put my um, Quest 2 controllers mount on, on the desk so that they won't fall off once I'm flying around. Hopefully they won't fall off in this, this test that we're going to do right now. But I think I got it working. I reduced the yaw to about 20, 20 maybe 20 25 degrees off center and I also implemented the uh, tag for the virtual desktop and I just did a test right before I start recording and it seemed to work I am getting a little lag uh, in everything but I it's, it's got to be a virtual desktop setting now I'll get it all worked out I don't know what it looks like on the video but inside my headset I'm getting a little bit of lag but at least it's better than it was when I was doing it the first time. All right, let's run through the uh, just the basics. I don't want to get my dish ship here that's in front of me right now. I don't want to get that thing blown up until I get this thing dialed in. All right, enough talking. Let's get to it. Uh, when I started it without the zero acceleration, it sent me hurling off into the sp into space. Anybody in there? Hey, pilot, do you read me? You look like you got yourself in a fix. <laughs> Your ship's so dead in the water, I almost mistook it for one of these asteroids. Let me launch a repair drone, see if I can't get that crate back online. Lucky I showed up when I did. You wouldn't last long out here in your current predicament. Okay, your power's back up and running. Some control systems are still offline, but you should have basic drive functionality now. You might want to check that your throttle's still working. Go ahead and set your throttle, Commander. Well, that's a result. We might just get this rust bucket spaceworthy. Drone repair sequence is still running on your ship. You're lucky I had these things. They're not what you'd class as standard equipment. Your attitude control should now be active. See if you can pitch your ship up and down. Give it a go. Alright, just be the first test to see if the yaw is actually working. Yep. That looks to be in working order. Let's see if we can get you rolling again. Okay, you should be able to give it a try now. Spin your ship on its central axis using your roll controls. Good job, Commander. One final hmm, axis cool. of control and you should be good to go. Yaw is back online now. Why don't you try pivoting your ship from side to side? That's it, Commander. It would appear you have a semi-operational yeah, sidewinder. that feels way hands. better. I wouldn't take any chances, though. It's not so going crazy. Ship into dock for repairs. There's an outpost nearby. See if you can make it there. All right. So, target the outpost. I got vibration set. I guess now Thrusters might be up and down. To introduce myself. My name's Left Blaine. Right. I'm something of a freelancer in these parts. You know, this could be a lucky break for both of us. I've been looking for a business partner, someone to help me with potentially lucrative ventures and you need someone to take you under their wing show you the ropes so to speak i have to say it's not often i help out strangers like this so i think you owe me one the least you can do is buy me a lavy and brandy i'll see you at the outpost commander all right so i did this before and it sent me hurling off into space so when i activated the um zero acceleration thing it fixed it like I said, I'm getting a little bit of um, ghost of this stuff still. It's got to be something due to the settings and everything I got running. Um, I am rocking a RTX 3080. I have a Ryzen 9 3900X and 32 gigs of 36 megahertz DDR4 RAM on an X570 motherboard. So it's all right. That feels so freaking cool. Alright. <laughs> yeah. This is going to take a whole nother dimension of, uh, 
you to, to get used to it feels so good all right i'm getting a little jerking i don't know if it shows up on the recording but i'll look at it later all right so what we're gonna do now is that worked out pretty good so we got it going we're gonna do some combat and we're gonna do just the basic stuff like i said i don't want to damage my good ship uh Potential bounty hunting opportunity. The target should be passing through this sector soon. Don't worry, you got this. There he is, right on time. Don't get too excited though. Before you engage, you need to make sure he still has a bounty on his head. Target his ship to scan him. Right, he's definitely your mark. Time to deploy your hard points, Commander. Certain commands doesn't work in here. Deploy weapons. Weapons hot. Concentrate your primary fire on the target, Commander. Power to weapons. Transferring power to weapons. <laughs> your little friend here has a combat rank of harmless. Seems to have left the hangar without any shields. So you should be able to make light work of him. Flight assist. Power to system. Switch your fire group. To really gain the upper hand in combat, use the ship's power distribution to its full potential. Shifting the power between systems, engines, and weapons will mean you have power where you need it and when you need it. This target won't put up much of a fight, so I'd suggest you put full pips to weapons. So it works. Uh, I'm loving this thing. I mean, it adds so much more immersion to it when you're moving around. And it's, I mean, it's really, really cool. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Exit the game. Quit the game. Commander. Are you sure? Yes. Until next time, Crusoe Offline. <laughs>